Hair Styles and today we're going to show you the woven ribbon bun and it's really nice so keep watching. So I started with her hair in a high ponytail. I got it a little bit wet so it wouldn't have so many flyaways and put it in a loose braid with an elastic on the bottom. Then go ahead and twist it up into a bun and hide the end underneath it and then when you have it shaped how you want, bobby pin it into place. As many bobby pins as you think you need to hold it securely. And then I have two different colors of ribbon that I'm going to use. I just had them on hand, some purple glittery ribbon and some pink. So get a bobby pin and we're going to loop it through the hair like this. So take your bobby pin, slide it under a little piece of hair, thread your ribbon through the eye of it like it's a needle, and then pull it back through. And then just make sure if you don't have double-sided ribbon like I don't, that you have it facing right side out so you can see how cute it is. Then just keep weaving through her hair. You send the bobby pin through, feed the ribbon through just like it's a needle, and gently pull it back through and then turn it so that it's facing right side out. Keep going up her head all the way around the bun until you get to the bottom. And then clip those strands so they have a nice clean edge. You don't need to tie them. You could if you want to, but I, they, won't, they won't pull out. They're stuck in the hair. Then get another strand of ribbon. You can use as many strands and different shades as you'd like. I just happen to have these two on hand. So start weaving your second color through. This ribbon that I'm using is a little thicker than the other one. I like the variety. Um, just make sure when you get it through that you have it facing right side out. And if you kind of shimmy the strand of ribbon like I did, you can get it to go lower through the hair and then pull if your top one's starting to hide under the bun. You know, just use your bobby pin to go ahead and pull it back out. And then when you weave this one through, make sure you're opposite where you went on the first ribbon. See how I'm starting to get that pattern so that it looks woven and so that they don't match each other. Just keep going around the head. And then as you get to this side, notice we're doing it opposite of what we've been doing or backwards. We're threading the, need, the bobby pin in up instead of down when we were on the other side. And then before you finish your last strand, go through and loosen your ribbon so it's really, so each one loops, it'll be really pretty. And then feed it through for the last time. Get your scissors and clip both of those so they look nice. And I just have a bow that I'm going to attach on the bottom. And you've got this. Oh,